Hey guys, it's Dave for ComputingForever.com. Really important video because we have to talk about a really important, hot, trending topic. The most important tech news of the month. Apple's new iPhone 6, new iPhone 6 Plus, and the new Apple Watch. Oh my God, massive news. But before I talk about these amazing new Apple products that have just been announced at their big keynote that everybody was obsessed about on Twitter, I thought, why not do something interesting? Why not talk about these tech products from the perspective of a future consumer from three years from now? Imagine what your opinion is on an iPhone 4S. That came out three years ago, didn't it? iPhone 5, 5, 5, 5. yeah, three years ago, right? The iPhone 4S. Right now, it's a piece of junk because it's outdated and slow and blah, 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 and rubbish. It's just, it's just old, right? It's old. Well, if I was from 2017 and went back in time and looked at this technology, I would think that it's rubbish. I think that's a fair point to make. You know why? You know why? Because we've been told by these big tech companies that all their products, their amazing products that they produce are, you know, some sort of technological works of art, okay? That this is the consumer culture we live in, okay? But let me tell you something about art. A good movie is a good movie forever. It might date, and the effects might look a bit crap, and the CGI gets bad, but it's still a good movie, and it holds up no matter what. It's about the story. When I see these tech products now, I'm just jaded. I just, I can't do these keynote reviews anymore. I can't worry about the next thing coming up. Because you know why? Because all I see is future freaking landfill. That's all I see, okay? So, you can talk about how it's got a 4.7 inch screen and a 5.5 inch screen and it's got this amount of pixels and it's got this incredible camera because you know that this stuff is coming. You know it's going to be thinner and lighter and faster and they're not going to make it slower and heavier and thicker, are they? I mean, come on, they're not going to do that. And I really want to thank two of my followers on Twitter, David Townsend and Darren Strazik, for giving me the inspiration to make this video because I'm getting tired of the fact that us consumers are nothing more than moths to the flame when it comes to these technological announcements. The technology is incredible, and I don't blame Apple. I don't blame Samsung or HTC or Microsoft or whoever. I don't blame these big tech companies, okay? I don't blame them. I blame us. I blame modern tech journalists and analysts who do whatever it takes, okay? They do whatever it takes to get their blog seen, and they tweet like crazy and use all the latest hashtags and they just SEO the crap out of their articles just so they can get a tiny little bit of limelight. So they will rush to YouTube to make videos about the latest thing which is so transient and is yesterday's tweet, yesterday's news. It's just superficial, shallow crap that they will make videos about just so that they can rank is that what we've become? Just so we can rank in Google and on YouTube? That's, that's it? That's the basis of modern media, of modern publications, of modern journalism? And we feed the consumer habit. We just perpetuate it. Planned obsolescence and mass consumerization means that these technologies only mean something for six months to a year to 18 months at the most. There's no point if the iPhone 6 Plus can be rubbish at any point in its lifespan, then it is rubbish. Okay, a car from 20 years ago still goes. It's still a car. I hate to break it to you, but Siri doesn't actually know the weather. She just repeats what the internet tells her. I know that these new devices do incredible things. I know that. And I know how these keynotes go. They tell us that the product they released last year is now rubbish and this is the one you should have bought and if you bought that one last year, you're an idiot and this is the one you need to get. And by the way, in case your memory is really short, they're gonna do the same thing next year, okay? Are we happier? Are we actually more productive? No, we're just busier. No, we just have less time for each other. We have lots more of this and this and this, and that's all I see with these smartphones and tablets now. More time spent doing things that aren't meaningful. Like, life is supposed to be full of good quality memories, right? That's what you want. You want to have good quality memories. Is this staring at a screen? Is that part of your memories? Because you're going to spend a lot of time doing it. And the bigger the screen, you want more time spent on front of this device? You know, that's all these devices are for. We're going to find more elaborate apps, more social media crap to invest our time in more distraction, and that's 
all we're doing. We have to actually start looking at ourselves as consumers. People all over Twitter, hashtagging it up, constantly looking for the new thing and going out and buying it like a bunch of sheeple, okay? Sheep people with no brains of their own. They don't question anything, they just mindlessly buy this crap. And I'm not just picking on Apple, the same thing goes for any of them, all right? The new Samsung Galaxy, whatever. That's why I didn't do much on IFA. I just don't care about these tech events anymore. There are so many more interesting things in technology that I love about technology, but it's the consumer element of it that just bores the crap out of me now. They, you know, we look at these keynote events like the Sermons on the Mount, the new religion. You know, let's all congregate and watch our masters sell us more junk. You know, you're gonna have that drawer in the future, okay? No matter how good you think this iPhone 6 or 6S is, and by the way, they're really expensive. No matter how good you think they are, there's gonna be a drawer in your house. Someone's gonna say, do you have a charger for my Samsung Galaxy whatever? And you're gonna open the drawer and you're gonna look, well, there's an old hard drive and there's an old Mac mini and there's an old USB key with 64 gigs. Oh my God, I couldn't store anything on that. I couldn't even store a photograph on that now. It's so small. And you go, know, oh, there's an old Apple watch. Oh, piece of crap. Oh, there's an iPhone 6 with a cracked screen. Huh, I wonder where that went. And that's where it's gonna be. Eventually, it all becomes junk. Taken on their own merits, they're technological breakthroughs, they're incredible things, and we should be very proud of our achievements as human beings. But the problem is it doesn't end there because they're not designed to last. They're designed to perpetuate the mass capitalist consumerist machine and keep it going. And we fall for it every single time. So really, who cares? And just as a side note, why the hell would I want to take a picture of my credit card when I know about the Apple iCloud leak. I mean, seriously. You don't benefit from this. Your life doesn't get better when you buy these devices. No matter how amazing they make the camera or they make the resolution of the screen, in a year's time, they will have a better one. And you're gonna go, oh my God, I should buy that. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And you might say, well, that's technological progress. No, technological progress is we cured cancer. Technological progress is we introduced stem cell research and cured all disease. Technological progress is we can now get to Mars in three weeks. That's technological progress. You know, you're not even gonna use half those features. You're really gonna use fitness apps? Really? Seriously? Come on. C come on. You didn't worry about that stuff before. You know, you wanna worry about health? Eat plenty of green foods, get plenty of exercise, plenty of sleep, stay off the booze, don't smoke cigarettes, don't do drugs, see your doctor every so often, have your blood pressure taken, and you're done, okay? Stop wasting your time on your smartphone asking it to tell you about your emotional state or how stressed you are. You can do that yourself! Smartphones and tablets are pitched at us like life-improving products, and they're not. It's memories, and moments, and thing and holidays, for $1,100 or whatever this new 128 gig iPhone 6 Plus is gonna be, you know, you could have a really good holiday for that. You know, you just save your cash. Buy what you need when you need it. Stop falling for the same bullshit, mindless sheeple crap that they keep perpetuating, okay? With following this crap on Twitter and I need to make sure that I produce the smartest hashtag related tweet. I need to make sure I get the first article out because I really want people to notice me. It's disgusting that this is what tech journalism is now. What's hot and what's trending, it's transient. It's here today, gone tomorrow. It's superficial, it's vapid. That's what tech journalism is now. Who can rank and who can keep up with the trends and who can keep up with the nonsense buzzwords and who can keep up with all that talk and SEOing your life away because SEO destroys creativity. It means that you can't have a really catchy title because your title has got to have a word that appears in the body text and the tags and it's got to appear X amount of times and it's got to only be a keyword that already ranks for stuff that people are looking for because otherwise, there's no point, no one's gonna see it. And I would rather write quality that hardly anyone sees and make videos that only a small amount of subscribers see than produce bullshit videos where my heart isn't in it just to keep up with everyone else and to compete against all the other sheep out there. 
I'd rather do that. It's like with press releases. This is something that when I was studying journalism, my lecturer told me was gonna happen. Modern journalism, taking snippets out of press releases that companies send to you. Copy and paste jobs, no analysis, no questioning, no thinking, nothing. And consumers have become the same. Apple have done a great job putting on a great event, making these great products that they have ultimately already begun retiring. And I, I can't wait to see the comments on this video. They're gonna be, it's gonna be like Marmite, this video. It's gonna be totally split. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me rant about this stuff, but you know what? I think this was coming for a very long time. I love technology and talking about it, but these types of videos talking and praising Apple for how amazing they are as they plan the obsolescence of the products they tell us are amazing that we have to buy in a year's time <laughs> again, or, you know, it's just, I'm tired of that element of technology. And um, anyway, I would love to know what you think of all of this. Please hit that like button, assuming you liked the video of it all. And uh, of course, hit that big red subscribe button because it does help to keep the show going, of course. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.